dish is my dad's secret recipe. His friends come around all the time begging him to cook this. And it's our staple for me, my brother, on a Sunday. Now, I'm not too sure where you live and what you can get in terms of seafood. But any crab can be cooked this way. But I've been lucky enough to find this in India. It was a live mud crab, which they've cleaned it up for me. And it looks like that. Beautiful, juicy claws. Lots of meat inside. And the body is cut into two. I'm going to make a really dry Sri Lankan curry. We mean dry. The curry sticks around the crab and it's super beautiful for crabs or prawns. Now, again, an array of fabulous exotic spices. Cinnamon, cardamom, clove, fennel, mustard seed, star anise, bay leaves, for garnishing, coriander, this would go in when you're tempering the curries. In South India and in Sri Lanka, we have curry masalas, which you can find in any Asian shop, even in Europe or in America. You would like to find the mild one or the meat curry powder, but milder version, and some chili powder. If you're not into eating very spicy food, you can omit the chili powder, but there's also chili powder which says mild. Now you can use that because it adds a beautiful red deep color to your curry. And some tamarind paste, which we will mix and use the paste. Now let's get back to our raw materials. This is two tomatoes, ripe, clean, washed and cut. Cloves of garlic and an inch of ginger, chopped finely all together. And three medium-sized red onions. If you can't find them red, you could use the white or Bombay onions. Be generous in your onions because that is where the curry flavour is. So every time you cook a curry, make sure you use a lot of onions. This thickens the gravy and gives a good, rich texture. Alright, let's start cooking. Two tablespoons of olive oil. You don't need much. It's just to sauté your spices to get the aromas out. All South Indian, Indian dishes, drop in your mustard seed first. Get it to pop. Once it starts popping, you can put in the rest of the spices like your cardamom, star anise, clove and cinnamon. Just move them around a little. You can definitely get the aroma of your spices and that's when you know your garlic and ginger has got to go in. Follow this formula for any form of curry. So, ginger and garlic. All done on a low medium flame because you don't want your spices to burn. Once spices are burned, they turn bitter. So there you go. That's the technique of a curry. It's when you put what and the timing. Now drop in the onions after two three minutes of the garlic and ginger has gone in. The salt to taste should be added in now. The reason being I love my garlic, onions and spices to have a taste. So here we go, one tablespoon of sea salt. You could taste later if you needed more, but just to be on the safe side. At this point, drop in two sprays of curry leaves. Just break them into two so you have more aromas. Turn the onions till it turns brown. Once your onions turn a little bit brown on the sides and a bit wilted, time to put in these two fresh tomatoes. Two and a half tablespoons of curry powder. And one teaspoon of chili powder just for taste. Once you've added the curry powder, stir it all in on a very low flame. Now, this is a little tip how to get your curry absolutely yummy is to kind of saute your curry powder on a low flame in your non-stick pan because you're already semi-cooking it, almost kind of fried. Move it around on a one and a half minute absolutely low flame. We're going to put in some water and boil it for the next 20 to 25 minutes. Good curries need patience. 
So here we go. Half a bowl of water. Once you put in half a bowl of water, you got to let it come to a boil and then simmer it for the next 25 minutes to 30 minutes. It, the water will reduce to almost, almost half. Now crabs cook in a jiffy. So we, I'll show you where to put it in, but you just need your curry powders to cook. A good curry means the masalas are cooked well. So now this is going to sit in here for the next 25 minutes simmering. Bring it to a boil and simmer. Once the curry is boiling, just reduce the flame for it to simmer for the next 30 minutes. If you have waited patiently for half an hour, that's exactly how your curry masala would look like. Thick and yummy. So, about half a tablespoon of tamarind juice. If you already have the juice, then you just use the juice, but I'm mixing up half a tablespoon of tamarind to get this brown juice like that or paste you could increase your flame now because you are tenting to it and engross your crabs be gentle with them because you don't want them to break inside on a quite a high flame I'm putting all of these in for five to seven minutes on a high heated flame your seafood is cooked how do you know any prawn or crab or crayfish is cooked just from the color of course look how beautifully blushed pink it's turned now you know it's cooked now i'm going to take off my curry exactly at this point it's dry but it still has this beautiful masala left for your rice so there we go. I'm going to switch off the fire, drop in and break up some sprays of coriander. Serve it with the pot.